welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite mother of three bougie vintage. Happy New Year for most of us, <laughs> um, or most of y'all, okay? As you see by the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how much my divorce has cost me so far. Be ye prepared, okay? Because the number is crazy. This is why they say it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> um, Girl, when I told her to tell this up, girl, and I haven't even did, done the grand total yet, so I'm just about to be as shocked and behooved as y'all. But like, when I really started adding things up, like, okay, so this is how much I would have paid if I was still married, and this is how much I am paying because I am separated and getting a divorce. So let's start with the obvious legal fees. So far in legal fees, I've paid upwards of ten thousand dollars. Definitely not something I planned for. Only by the grace of God that I was able to even chop that money up and. Obviously Obviously that money doesn't all come out at once. You pay your retainer and then you pay periodically after that as your retainer is running low. And so that was the first amount. So we're starting with big numbers. Okay, but then you start to realize, hmm, there's some things that I used to only have to pay half of, but now I'm paying the whole thing. And that's why divorce gets really expensive because you are now on your own, okay? And if you, no shade, if you don't have a live-in partner, <laughs> then of course you're gonna be paying for things by yourself. Like I can't use a man to like pay for half of my rent right now, right? So pretty much I'm out here on my lonesome and rent is gonna gag you guys, but we're not at rent yet. Let's talk about my car, okay? So obviously I'm a mom, I have three kids, I got three car seats, mama needs a car. I need to be able to drive my kid to and from school. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to do all those wonderful things that mothers do. So getting rid of my car, definitely not an option for a single mother. Okay, if you're a single mama, you need a car because what do I look like taking the bus to go grocery shopping, taking Ubers to go grocery shopping, and then what about the car seats? My kids go everywhere with me. So on my car so far, because I have been separated since about March of last year, so far on my car, I've paid a total of $4,171. So this is plus the 10,000. So already we're at $14,000 guys, okay? And this list is updated to today's date. So this is how much I've literally spent to today. So $4,171 on my car note from last year to this year. Originally, when I was still married, my ex would pay one of the uh, monthly payments. So the payments were bi-weekly, so he would pay one of those payments every month and then he stopped. Now, if I was still married, obviously I would only be paying half of that. So that $4,171 would only be just over $2,000. So because I'm getting a divorce, we have now entered into, hold on, 10,000 plus 4,000. Total so far, it's been $14,171. You're gagging. The next thing that obviously cost me a lot of money <laughs> are my children. For childcare, I've paid $11,000 in childcare, which brings our total now to $25,171 for childcare. And of course, that is not an amount that it has been split. I have had to pay that by myself. So there's nothing on this list that is split, obviously, because like I said, this is money since I have separated from my ex. This is how much money that I've had to spend so far just because I'm getting a divorce. If I was not getting a divorce, these numbers would not matter, okay? It's very expensive to be single and a parent at the same time. So keep that in mind before you have a baby. <laughs> or two or three, keep that in mind, girl, because you don't know what the hell's gonna happen, okay? I wasn't planning for this. I didn't know that this was gonna be my life. So like, anyway, 11,000 on childcare. And then pretty much right after I got separated from my ex, I ended up getting some emotional support animals for my kids because I felt like they needed that. So um, we got two cats for them. And so I did buy two cats. Um, the cats were, were they 400 each or 200 each? I paid an adoption fee and then once the cats came, I brought them to the vet because one, they're gonna be around my kids. Like if it was just me, I probably would never bring the cats to the vet. I've had many cats over this lifetime and I never brought any to the vet, okay? The vet is expensive, way more expensive than I would ever have imagined because I've literally never gone. 
So I brought my cats to the vet, they got like shots and stuff. And then on top of that, I ended up having to get the male cat neutered because they were both getting to that age where they want to mate and they're brother and sister. So they can't be mating and come from the same litter and the babies are coming out with one eye, like no. Oh my God, I keep losing the backing. I ended up having to get the cats neutered. So I would say total so far, not including like food or anything like that for the cats. The cats have cost over $2,000. So we're gonna just say 2,000 and we're gonna add that to our $25,000 total, which is gonna bring us to a whopping $27,171, okay? And when I was married, my ex didn't pay bills. So he only ever paid uh, half of the rent and half of the car, but not the down payment on the car. And due to him never paying bills, like, hydro, water, um, gas, internet. Because he didn't pay those bills, I never included them in this total. So like, it, cause it wouldn't make sense. I was always just paying them myself. So it didn't make sense to include him or include what it would be cause it would have been the same. So we didn't include that in this list, just an FYI. Then of course, because I came out of this relationship and it did a number on me, I ended, obviously ended up having to pay for therapy. Now, by the grace of God, I had free therapy at first, which was, amazing okay but then i obviously once that therapy ended i have to had to get a new therapist and so far it's cost me fourteen hundred dollars in therapy to undo the trauma <laughs> but nothing that i just mentioned can compare to how much it's cost me to keep a roof over my children's heads for the last year with no help so in rent I have paid, oh, hold on, let me add the $4,000, sorry, sorry, $1,400 to therapy or to the list. So that brings our total to $28,571. Kaching, 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 like the, kaching, the money, the money. I am a regular person. <laughs> I am not a billionaire. I do not have money coming up out of my yin yang, okay? Like, it's not giving that for me. So this is a crazy amount of money to do on your own when you have children with somebody. You know what I mean? So then, let's add the the, whop, the the crazy amount that I have to pay to keep a roof over my kids' heads, okay? $17,400 it's cost me in rent because I now don't just pay half of the rent, I pay the whole thing. So, oh my God, I accidentally, I have to add everything back up, 10,000. So our grand total so far has been, or is $28,571, okay? So now we're gonna add the rent, which is $17,400, which brings the total amount, not including a bunch of things that actually should be on here that I haven't put on here, like food. Okay, so groceries, feeding my kids, also clothing them. Today I got Say Say dress and she is in a size six pants and there are floods, okay? She just got those pants at the beginning of the school year. So, I don't know what to do with that, like, <laughs> but like I'm constantly having to buy clothes for my kids because they keep growing. Typically, Belle will get like hand-me-downs, obviously, but Cece will not stop growing. She is so tall, she's gonna be taller than me, and her pants are flood. And I spent, I spent, for back to school shopping, I spent a good amount of money, but I didn't include that in this list. So if we wanna include it in the list, I'll say I probably spent $1,200 on back to school. Another one, thank you. Okay, 1,200 on back to school. And then I can't even total like the groceries, the day-to-day the -day stuff. Because the truth is, I really only grocery shop for my kids. I don't really eat a lot, you know what I mean? I eat the same things all the time. So like my grocery bill isn't too crazy, but the majority of my bill is for my kids because they like, they're very picky and they eat very specific things and like, I can't just feed them any old thing. So if I were to include groceries for the last year on here, <laughs> I, I really wouldn't know what to, I really wouldn't know what amount to put, but if I'm gonna round this $47,171 amount up, I would probably add at least another five grand in miscellaneous items. So if I'm gonna add the $5,000 from last year to this year, that brings the grand total to $52,171, all because, <laughs> all because I'm getting a divorce. Girl, and I'm not divorced yet, which means there's gonna be more legal fees, possibly, and more things to do on my own because I don't get child support, and that's crazy. So, it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> it's cheaper to keep her and stay in the misery, girl. Girl, before you get married, before you decide to get married, just think, how much might my divorce cost me, okay? Because it's only been a year. How do you rack up $52,000 $52, debt in a year? Not even a year, it's not even been a year. It's been 10 
nine months, $52,000? Baby, no. <laughs> No, I would never walk down an aisle again. This is crazy. Okay, I would I would never do it. Okay, I would never do it. Never, ever, ever. We could be together forever, baby, but we is not getting married. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. This is disgusting. Okay, absolutely disgusting. And so big shout out to all the single parents out there, whether you're a single mom or single dad, shout out to you, okay? If you're getting to it and you have no help, shout out to you. And not because the person that you had kids with can't help you, but doesn't want to help you. Shout out to y'all, okay? Cause this is not a game. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like absolutely insane. One out of 10, don't recommend. <laughs> But yeah, I love you all so much. And let my story be a lesson to you all, okay? Let it be a lesson to you all. Don't ignore red flags, whether they're coming from the person you were with or extended family members. Don't ignore red flags. Don't look past things. Maybe call it out when you see it and dodge the bullet, okay? Because $52,000 in 10 months? In 10 months? Make it make sense. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> Get somebody else to do it because it's not going to be me. I love you all so much and I'll definitely see you in the next one.